Hi Franklin families. I haven't done a picture book in a little while, so I thought I would do another one. This one's very silly and it's one of my favorites. The pictures are really great. It's called Jake Stays Awake and it's by Michael Wright. And the back says, when Jake can't sleep, the whole family is awake. There he is. Jake and the dog looking at you through the keyhole. I feel like maybe some of your moms and dads and other grown-ups in your life might appreciate this book. Have some sympathy for the parents. The end papers are some sheep, which he's clearly not counting. Because he is staying awake with his poor, poor parents who look so filled to have him in their bed again. There was a little boy whose name was Jake, and every night he'd stay awake. Unless I can sleep with my parents, he said, I won't close my eyes and I won't go to bed. So every night around 1044, he'd wander up, on up to his mom and dad's door and stand there and knock till finally they said, all right, all right, Jake, you can sleep in our bed. All right. Come on in, Jake. Okay, I'm just knock, knock, knock. This drove his poor parents straight up a tree. They had a bed made for two, not a bed made for three. We love you, dear Jake, but we can't even doze. How can we sleep? with your toes up our nose. But night after night, for a moment of rest, they let Jake climb in. They thought it was best. Look, he's coloring. And then fell asleep on their faces. I don't think they're probably getting much sleep. So his mother and father thought hard and thought long and came up with a plan that just couldn't go wrong. We'll sleep with you, son, just not in our bed. Is there some other place we could try out instead? Jake considered their offer for a second or two, then smiling, he said, I know just what to do. He headed outside and pointed straight up. Uh-oh, thought his parents. No way, thought his pup. Looking up, Jake wants to sleep on the roof. Then they all climbed to the roof and attempted to sleep, but sleep's pretty tricky on something so steep. Oh my goodness, look at that, it looks miserable. Then nervously, Jake said, perhaps we should try finding some other spot that's not quite so high. silly picture. A lot happening in this picture. Looks very uncomfortable. Jake climbed up the stairs and said, let's all sleep here. But that turned out to be a big pain in the rear. Jake jumped in the bathtub with his rubber duck. Then in popped his parents and they all got stuck. Even this dog looks disappointed in them. That looks awful. He thought that the kitchen might be a good place, but it's tough to sleep when you're feeding your face. Everyone's eating. Except for mom. She's drinking a cup of coffee. There's the coffee maker. Poor mom. The garbage can seemed a great idea at first, till things started stinking like old liverwurst. Ink. The car was as boring as boring could be, like taking a long drive with nothing to see. I don't think anyone's really sleeping at this point. 
So he lay there and listened to his parents snore. Jake thought of the one place he hadn't before. Instead of the roof or the stairs or the bath, instead of the kitchen, the car, or the trash, Jake thought that his bed didn't sound quite so bad. So he whispered goodnight to his mom and his dad. Jake walked himself back to bed in his room, where he slept without moving till quarter to noon. There he is, passed out with the dog in his bed. And there is a very happy dad whistling, mowing the lawn. Do you think that was the idea? They all along. I think his parents suspected that. There they are sleeping in his bed. There's the dog and the bear. Jake's feet and his parents peeking in. His parents are happy again with their son, and everyone's realized it's not always fun to have kids sleep with parents night after night. But every once in a while, well, that's quite all right. There's our sheep. Hopefully he's counting them this time. And that's the end. Very silly story with some pretty great pictures. Hope you're doing well, whether you're sleeping in your own bed tonight or your parents or the roof or a trash can or the stairs or anything else they did. Hopefully not a trash can. Bye.